Hello you gorgeous daughter, today we're reacting to Love Island, this is the final episode of the entire series. I'm so excited, I want to see who won this thing, let's just get into it. Okay, so we're starting off with a new girl, a new bombshell's come in and she's picked Joey and Ruben. So why did you pick me and Ruben? I just think you're both lovely, obviously you're both easy on the eye. I just thought like you got that cheeky chappy, which I love. Yeah, I can't lie, I love an Essex boy. Lucky for you, it's literally in my name. So I'm the man for you, love. Your dreams, over here. <laughs> but you didn't expect to live your dream today, did you? <laughs> can't get any more Essex than <laughs> me. Can't get any more Essex than you. Yeah. Would I be your type? You're hot. Yeah, no, sure, 100%, yeah. you're gorgeous what, girl. What is your type normally? Obviously I can marry. Oh my god, like, Joey's not even acknowledging that Ruben's there. He's just like talking to us straight on. Ruben's trying to be like, yeah, yeah, you be my type. Shut up! I'm speaking right here. She's in New Essex, not wherever you are. Where's he from again? I forgot what football team he said he played for. Wait, was he Essex? I think it was he Kent. I feel like he was Kent. I don't know how close that is to Essex. My southern geography is terrible. Yeah, for me, I'm more of a personality type yeah. person. I've been single for a while now. Yeah. Like, I I'm fine by myself. Like yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're touching my foot. Sorry. I would ideally love. Oh, Joey, you little wanker. He's literally opening up. Just asked him a question, he's answering it, and Joey's just interrupted. Just saying, are oh, you trying to play footy with us? Are you not interested in what he's saying? No. Right, you want to bet the Essex, don't you? Shut up, Joey. Wipe that smile off your face, sir. With your tennis ball head. Sick of looking at it. Someone I could share my life experiences yeah. with and sort of build with. People think sometimes it's a red flag, like I've not had a relationship before, but... I By the way, I saw something that came out in an article that apparently Joey Essex was allowed like three hours with the producers every single day, like off camera. Like he was the only one that was allowed to like go backstage, I guess. Which is kind of really weird because then doesn't that like defeat the, the object of like they're only meant to speak to the people that are kind of on the show. Do you know what I mean? Like obviously they will be talking to the producers, but I just think it's weird that one content Test and gets luxuries whilst the other ones don't. Find your bit of common sense. Are you a troublemaker? In what kind of way? Are you going to tread on toes? I'm Sorry. not going to play it safe. He says that to every single new girl that comes in. Oh, you're going to get me in trouble. Oh, darling, you're going to get me in trouble, aren't you? I thought this guy was like wifed off with Jesse. What is he doing trying to pursue another person? Palm it off, mate. Palm it off. It's a decision of truly epic proportion. Oh, someone's getting dumped. Guys, if you can't make your minds up in three minutes, we will just go any meanie. Oh, so Kieran and Nicole are picking who they're going to dump because they've been voted the most popular couple. Okay. We love every single one of them, so it's quite hard to look like do this, but I think obviously we had to choose. So. Christ, love, you're only picking someone to go home. They're not going to be sentenced to the death penalty. It's fine. The couple that we have decided to dump from the island are. Is this the, the couple we've decided to uh, crucify upside down is um <laughs> lolly and connor sorry oh how am i you've known lolly for about a couple of days what you're crying over her for we don't even know anything about her i i feel like that i you, sometimes you want like a big group like a like a big couple to get dumped right so it's a bit more shocking like they they're not really on camera like weren't they made to sit it's like the stewards in in that like tennis game they did even the producers didn't care about them put your friends off make it interesting how's but... things going with you and grace no it's good it's good I, I, i'll be laughing i didn't say it was good yeah I can, um, I can see it myself i can see you guys i like reuben and grace i feel like them too like have a good vibe i just don't know if Grace is that interested in him. I don't know if Grace is kind of using him because no one else that she fancies is available. I feel like she fancies Josh, the person that Mimi's coupled, coupled up with, right? I feel like there's been a little bit of flirty banter between them two. I used to be a professional footballer, so that was my sort of pathway no up. Yeah, so I don't really talk about it too much because, yeah. like, there's a lot of... Uh, opinions? The, yeah, a lot of opinions, yeah. a lot of, like, sort of... Honestly, people think that ex-professional footballers, like, have really good ball control. Honestly, I don't know how to use mine. I'm trying to think of a pun, and that was just disgusting. What am I? I'm losing my mind here. Okay, so this guy must be the bombshell that came in with the girl bombshell who was getting to know Joey. I must be really excited because my voice is breaking. I think I went, like, once for a mm. shoot. These two look um, more like a, I'll have to show you around a couple, you know? in my opinion. Mm, I don't know if... You don't want to go? I don't know if Birmingham's on top of my list. <laughs> Like, Ruben doesn't strike me as a spicer. I don't think Ruben would go to, like, Ocean Beach and, like, get a bottle of Ciroc and put it on his Snapchat story. Whereas I feel like he would. And I feel like Grace would. These two look like they would have a new built house together in a Pomeranian. Quite a chilled out person anyway. Like, yes, I am. I'm not, I don't like applying pressure or, like, doing too much. I'm very, like, laid back. Did you see how quick you said, yeah, same there. Yeah, I'm quite a chilled out person. Yeah, same. Yeah, I really like to wear makeup. Yeah, same. Can all Islanders gather around the fire pit immediately? Ooh. 
We'll have a gather around the fire pit. Separate the men from the boys, the women from the girls. Lola and Harry, you now have a big decision to make. Please stand in front of the fire pit. Oh, okay. So I imagine they're gonna have to steal someone out of a couple, right? We haven't really been shown too much about who they've been getting to know, which I probably think is on purpose. So it's kind of more of a shock who they pay. The girl I've decided to steal is... Grace. Oh! Get in! Spicer with Spicer create the ultimate spice. Love it! Can't wait for them to get a two for one membership at Sunkiss Sunbeds. Who are Rubes? Like a prophecy. Oh, I swear if Lola picks Ruben, that's so anticlimactic. That would be. She has to pick Joey if she really wants to like cement a place in the villa. If she picks Ruben, she's gonna go home because nobody will vote for them too. Oh my god, we didn't even get to see! What? Stupid Love Island, not letting me react to that because I'll get copyrighted. Okay, I've just searched it and apparently she did pick Ruben. Okay, so I feel like she's going to be the first to go home. Like the next time people get voted out, it's going to be her. I feel like, you know, a, the bombshell. Like you're a bombshell. You've got to make a statement. You've got to be a bomb. That's just like, I don't even know what that is. That's not even a flame. It's like you're trying to light the lighter and the flame's not coming out. Who are from Lola? To be fair, they should have put a boy called Charlie in. That would have been hilarious. Like, Charlie and Lola take the Villa by storm. Then I would pay the ITVX premium fund. Snog the Islander, you think, is the most arrogant. Oh! <laughs> 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 Don't pick her. Why have you picked her? You know she's going to be thinking about that for, like, the next 10 years. Nicole, because, yeah, you bought probably the most arrogant one here. Well, I guess that's what makes you guys a brilliant couple, but yeah. Well, so I'm arrogant as well. Yeah, you're both arrogant. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wants to get to the final. Everybody wants to stay in this villa for as long as possible and enjoy themselves with their couple or getting to know people. Oh, they didn't take that well. To be fair, getting called arrogant like nobody wants to be called that. We just laugh it off, right? They kind of took that to heart. Does that mean they, they are arrogant? Wait, but these are the, like the nation's sweetheart. These are like the nailed on winners. This is the first time we've seen like something negative towards them, apart from when Nicole like, you know, tries to bite Kieran's head off every single minute. Ha! <laughs> Kiss the Islander you think would do anything to make it to the final. Oh, these are horrible, I love it. Come here, lovely. What? Oh. Is there something we don't know about Kieran and Nicole? Because we're only showed like an hour, if that, like with adverts, we're showed like 40 minutes of footage. These guys like spend every single minute of the day with each other. This tells me that maybe Kieran and Nicole, like like off camera, maybe might not be the same. That's just literally me riffing. But that's two people that have said it. And I don't even think them two people really speak. Like they're, they're, they're both the people that are trying to go for Mimi. They're not going to be the best of friends. But they agree on that. Hmm. Ayo's ah, comment has annoyed me. I think it's a massive cop out. I feel like there's maybe others in here that he could have chose before choosing someone has settled down and. Also, like, you're just a liar if you say you don't go on Love Island and and and, and you don't want to win. Of course you do. Like, if someone gives you the option, or oh, do you want to go on Love Island and win no money, or go on Love Island and win the half of fifty grand, you're gonna choose the latter option. Of course you want to win. Yeah, you want to find someone, but you want to get to the final with that person. It's always seen in reality TV shows that it's a bad thing to want to win it. That's literally why you're on it. Couple are the most argument. Is this another challenge where they answer questions about each other? Mimi situation, I feel like, caused a bit of arguments between. Yourselves, I feel like there's a lot of confusion. You around. caused the argument. I've always liked, but I feel like it's that's a cop out. The cop question out. is, no, I'm just saying my opinion, babe. Not bro, like, is there any Sean fans in the audience? Anyone watching? Is anyone a Sean fan? Can I just ask, like, are you okay? Is everything all right? Is it like, why is this guy so obsessed? with a couple that he's not involved with. The guy wants to watch this couple burn into the ground. For what reason, Sean? The question yeah. is, argument is. We, we, and we argue. didn't argue. It's because uh, they're too up other people's asses. I like Matilda. She's probably one of my favorite contestants on this season, but she really lets everything slide with Sean. Like every, the way Sean acts would just give us the ick. Where she's like, oh, I'm a little Shawnee. Oh, being obsessed with Ayo and Jess. Oh, bless him, my little Shawnee. God, what's he like? Which couple gives you the biggest ick? Grace has said that Harry wouldn't be our usual type. Also, I look, I look and I see all the other couples around. I feel like there's a bit of physical, a bit of this, a bit of that. And with you two, it feels like I'm looking at two bean poles, two lampposts. <laughs> Bro, Ruben, aren't you like trying to get to know Grace? What do you, do, do you want that guy? To be like hugging her, to be like touching her butt. Like, what do you mean? Why are you like cussing them 
for not touching each other. That's what you want, fella. You're fighting the wrong side here. Yeah, I just don't think he's too kiss enough in front of me. I just... That, that's just my thoughts, man. You want them to be two lampposts. What a weird thing to say. I don't have to be all over him whilst I'm stood next to him playing a game. If you want to put your hand around her, then you do you. It's not my business. Honestly, Grace, I would just finger his bottom right now. I'd be like, is this close enough for you? Is it Ruben? Twat. Which couple is most likely to have their heads turned? No, something. No one knows it. No one. I can't say it. Lucky Oh, is he going to mention the Mimi thing? Josh and Mimi. There's been a few situations that I've been involved with that probably people don't know about. What situations? Oh, so he's, he's relating to the last episode where basically Mimi told Joey to go and get Ayo so they can talk on the terrace secretly together. I'll say it now, I'll, say it, now. I'll oh. say it. Um, I just wanted to speak to Ayo after the challenge, away from everyone. Back to me. I was just told to, for, to do a secret mission. So what, to get me out of the way? Oh. I was not looking forward to this coming out. But what was the secret mission? When? 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 Mate, honestly, when you're told yeah, to do a secret mission, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, bro. You've got to chat to me, man. Joey is like, not an, like, has no empathy. The man would rather just get a giggle out of everyone and embarrass one person just for a little giggle. Like, just tell him. You brought it up. Just tell Josh. Like, why are you trying to embarrass him? It's like school bully energy. Like, it's funny for everyone else, but it's not funny for Josh. He's the only one that's not laughing. He's everyone off in there. What's going on, bro? Nothing, mate. Also, I'm pretty sure you know why. I felt like we needed to talk, bro. Also, like, Jesse's doing well to stay with Joey. Jesse's in the same sort of, like, boat as Matilda. Like, how do you not look at your, your lad and be like, oh, why is he acting like this? Like, why is he so obsessed with, like, another couple? She's just thinking about those monthly holidays to Mick and us. She's like, wow, I want to live his lifestyle. God, is it worth it, Jesse? Is it worth it? Well, he told me, me, it's not, it's not my place to say. It's not your place to say? Whatever she's told you, if you, if you know, then, then tell me. That's not how it's going. I'm, I'm asking you why you said that. I was asked. <laughs> bro, bro literally went, right, I'll tell you what, right? You have a guess and I'll tell you if you're right. Just turn the tables, gaslight them. Listen, we and I had a conversation. I knew she was going to have a conversation. Bro, if you're going to try and probe me for stuff, I've told me, me, yeah. I'm not going to tell people. But you, 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 felt, you felt comfortable. See, that would, that would be a really nice thing if he didn't bring it up in front of everybody and then just not tell them what the secret mission was. Because this is really horrible for Josh. Like, I'm feeling if I was Josh in his situation and other people know something about my relationship that I don't know and they're not telling us. Like, that would be really frustrating, especially when my feelings are involved and there's been a history of maybe the other person getting led astray by someone else. This would be really upsetting for me. Now I've got a date with Mimi and Josh where they're like out of the villa by themselves, which I feel like they've needed for ages because there's so many opinions about these two. Beautiful company. Oh, you got bars. I've got bars, you know. Uh, come on. See you. I like these two. Do I like them better than Kieran and Nicole? I think I do. Oh, how can I say that? I've been a Kieran and Nicole stand the entire way through. I just really like Josh. I do like her now, but I feel like she kind of had a bit of a wobble where I was like, oh, I don't know if she's actually a nice person, like the way she was using Josh. But the way Josh has been so patient with her, and I feel like they're a bit less toxic than Kieran and Nicole. Dave to say we're closed off now. <laughs> I guess you can say yeah, we're closed, I guess we're closed off then. <laughs> I mean, and what's the car? And what's the car, babe? I'm excited. So am I. I tell you what, that could be a little... That could be them in the running for the winners now, you know. I like that they've just done it really subdued as well. They haven't, like, done it in front of everyone. They've just been like, yeah, do you want to, do you want to close this off? But I actually really f fancy you. You fancy me. I tell you what, we don't want to shag anyone else. Let's just f us too. Also, they spend, like... 10 minutes alone and they're like look this is all the stuff we've been through this is this this is this we really like each other let's just go for it they needed this time this space just quickly guys if you haven't already make sure you press the subscribe button so you can join the donut family you'll have loads of videos to binge watch when you're bored so just press subscribe who's been coupled up with jess since casa this girl mate okay so there's a recoupling here and I'm I'm I've, I'm just skimming through and I'm going to summarize it like all the usual people you expect pick each other however Ruben steals Grace back so them two are like a couple again I guess they kind of sorted it out after the lamppost coming so the girl or lots of couple and then like these two the two bombshells that were like the the just really bad to be honest i think it was a little bit late for them to come in like you want if you're going to be a bombshell on love island you want to be one of the first you don't want to be one of the last because realistically your chances are so slim of being kept in the villa so these two just couple up with each other which probably means they're going to be dumped soon if not today lola ah oh, bless them 
Oh, I tell you what, I'm obsessed with them too. Oh, their journey's been wild. They've been great. They've been great TV. As they head for the award ceremony of the year. <laughs> what is this, the award ceremony? Okay. The public have been voting for their favourite couple. Okay, so the public's been voting for the least popular couples. So I guess they're, one couple's going to be crowned the winner. The winners are... <laughs> Oh my God. Lola and Harry. Yes! Yeah. Well done, Harry, and Harry. Wait, why are they sitting on the end? Wait, are they going to get dumped here? Are they going to get dumped here? They've sat them on the end. So that, does that mean, like, from a producer's standpoint, like, they don't need to change anything? Like, did they know prior to this that they were just going to be off? Like, the camera wasn't really on them either. It was, like, really squished to the end. That's a little behind the scenes hack, that. At the end of the day, a win is a win. A win is a win! Please. Uh, Lola and Harry, you have received a few votes and are therefore dumped from the island. Been tremendous. I tell you what, right? The Love Island producers have been brutal this season. They're like, we don't care about you. Off before the ceremony. Not after. Not let them have a little few drinkies together. They're like, no, we're not spending any free beer on you. Get the f out. Take that nectar too. And F off. To be fair, this season, they have been really brutal with the dumpings. How it should be. Like, this is a, it's a reality TV show. Like, they should, like, people agree to come on this show. They should just dump them when they want. Why is it? Lola! Oh my god! Lola! Stay on track. Yeah, they were very underwhelming bombshells, like arguably the worst in history. No offense, they're probably not watching this. They probably want to eradicate that they ever went on this show. The nominees for it's given one sided are. Ah, that's a bad one. Best graph to win. Oh, I think it's Josh personally. I can't lie. How's it? How's it? Yeah. You know, you made me me exclusive, you know, quite quick as well. So I feel like, you know, some, you know, one sided game. Um, I. What's he called? Sam, Sean? I. I. He's so annoying. He's just like always like this. Like for what reason? Just always at them too. Just leave them alone. Why are you so obsessed, mate? It's creepy. It's like really weird. It's as if you were like an ex of Mimi and you're still like obsessed with her. But you're not. You have no affiliation to these two. Why are you so obsessed with them? Did they leave a bad review on your sweet website? What is going on? Fair play. I just need to go to three, three people to, to know who I wanted. Oh! Oh! Who have I been through? Drag his ass, Josh. Drag that quiff. Come through Casa, tried it, yeah. nah, didn't buy it. Fair enough. You know, I'll stay with Matilda. Yeah. And for you, you've come in, yeah. stuck with Mimi, you know, yeah. couldn't play near with Grace, but. Matilda, please, like, please, just stand up to your man. Just say something to him. Say, bro, just, just shut up. Please. Don't put your head in your hands. Don't hide. You can't hide, love. You've just made some mad moves, and I feel like, you know, played it quite safe, and it looks quite one sided. You think I play it safe? Just leave it, Sean. What? I think. It's, it's like the opposite of safe. The man has literally had the most up and down ride being in the villa. I feel like what he's trying to say is that you've gone exclusive under pressure quite quick. Oh, f off, man, tennis ball head. Shut up, stop chiming in. And the compliment, he's no, saying he's to me, not, if I've Josh, done it under pressure. No, he's not, Josh, you're not listening. This is your problem. He, you're not, not listening. Hold on, on. listen, pause. Whoa. Everybody Joey. All right, Morgs, calm down. Put the pause controller down, love. Why are people getting so obsessed with other people's relationships? It's weird. Have your say, but why are you so, like, shouting at them about their own relationship? It's weird. This is why I could never go on this show, just because people's opinions would just piss us off if it was about, like, me and the person I was speaking to. Could you just think about it, Joey? The next if anything, that secret mission or whatever you're talking about it was meant to push me away. Hell yeah. I know, it just needs to be left now. So annoying. Is that Nicole who said it needs to be left? That is, that is great. Thanks, Nicole. The nominees for Epic Fail are Mimi. Oh, I knew. When you next see Ayo, can it's you just ask him to meet me at the terrace? I just want to talk to him. <gasps> oh no, this didn't come up in movie night, did it? No, no, no. What mm. she can do is come down and sit with me oh, anywhere in that awful. garden and we can have that conversation. To be fair, from Ayo's perspective, this is great for like Jess to see, cause like he acted superbly in that situation. Would you, <laughs> Ayo said to me, would you like meet him downstairs? Okay. I don't know if he's comfortable to come up here right now. Oh, look at Josh's face. It's I just want to put out mission. there, I just felt like when oh, I did see Josh, Mimi on the floor, Josh, I just Josh, felt Josh. like it was a bit seductive. I just want to say, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were sat there. Bro, like, also, Jess, who is going out with Ayo, she needs to put her foot down with Mimi and be like, look, stop now. I've been very nice, but leave my man alone. This one's mine. 
that belongs to me. He made it a bigger thing than it is. Now he's saying it was seductive. I just sat there. When you're saying secret mission, all it does is throw me into turmoil. You're yeah. making me think another bullshit is going on. Is that oh my God, Mimi's getting away with this. Like, Joey's kind of messed this up because Joey made it into like a more dramatic thing than, than what it was, but he, he Joey made it like 10 out of 10 dramatic, when in reality it was kind of like an 8 or 9. So now it's kind of, the bar was set so high, it's kind of lowered, so it's not hitting as bad. Because in my opinion, if I was Josh, I would really not like this. But I think she's getting away with it. This might be the best blag of all time. I'll take it. I told you it was a mission failed. <laughs> was it a fail? We had the chat on the bed. Yeah. No, but I mean my... Why is Jess looking at Mimi like this and bigging her up like, yeah. Jess, what are you doing? She literally tried to have a chat with your man in secret. There was definitely a reason why she went to the terrace and didn't just do it on the bed. It wasn't just to get away from everyone. That wasn't the reason. Yeah, you can play it off like that, but it's still weird that you were hiding from everyone. Jess is too nice. There's a reflection here, Joey. What are you talking about? Saying there's a secret mission and then not exposing the secret mission doesn't mean you kept the secret. Exactly, Jesse. Exactly. You did expose a secret. I didn't. You did. Right, well, did I okay, your example. Like, uh, 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 hold on, did hold on. Listen to me. Let, let me. Tell about let me talk, Joey. I mean I it. Jesse, j d dump his ass. Take it to the skip and go. Bang bang. There you go. You're on the wrong side of thirty. See you later. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But isn't Jesse like my age? Jesse, you can do better than this bloke. Okay, your example. I know. Listen, oh, Joey. Listen, you're not listening. But don't many times about the stick up for Jesse. No, I hear. Because he's embarrassed. It. He's a prick. No, he's not only messing up my thing. Well. He's not even messing up my thing. He's just messing up his thing. You can tell nobody likes Joey out of the boys. And I reckon it's because he probably plays the bigger. Like, I, I'm saying it. If I was in this villa and there was one guy who's, like, been paid to come in loads of money and he gets to chill with the producers and then he, like, embarrasses people in front of other people, of course you're not going to like him. That, that's not a very nice person. He thinks he's better than you. Like, very much. I couldn't, get, I couldn't get myself. I was so involved. I actually couldn't get out of it. I was so involved. Same with Io. When you're involved, you're involved. God, it's so easy to shoot the messenger. It's so easy. Well, the guy's just playing the victim. Like, Jesse... <sighs> Read the room, love. The red flags are there. Okay, now we've got the family reunion. So this is where, like, the family come in. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, I wonder if, like, Grace's dad's gonna, like, knock Joey out because that's Joey being, like, really disrespectful towards her. Queen, aren't you? You're just, you're just so control yeah. over the situations and the fact that oh, Joey. we're seeing. Hey, Joey! <gasps> Joey! <gasps> hey, man, come on. Hello, Jake. Shh, shh, shh. How are you, mate? You're, You're all right. right. How are you? Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet You're you. Right? Yeah. Hello, Joey. Hi, lovely to meet you. I'm Joey. Joey? Says, no, Joe. Oh, Joe, yeah. <laughs> my dad She's Jojo. Jo. You're Joey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, good um, to see you, dude. Yeah. It's yeah, all good. It's all yeah, good. we mean it's Grace. Good. It's, it's nothing, good. nothing, nothing deep. Oh my God, that is so cool from the dad. The dad stood on business. He's like, "Oh, Joey, come over here, like a dog you are. Got anything to say?" And then Joey straight away piped down. Oh yeah, it's nothing deep. Yeah, Joey, caked your pants. Angel delight all over there. Soggy boxers. That's what he's got. Well done, Grace's dad. Apparently though, Ayo's brother like wasn't fond of Jess. Like he said that. She needs too much reassurance, and now they're going to be talking about it, I think. My brother's opinions was to let you know as well that um, he felt like um, me and Mimi are better suited. Mm. It's because I am very calm yeah. and very reserved. Yeah. So he saw that as in, like, you're so well suited because that's how you are and that's how yeah. she is. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know that. So, yeah. I feel like crying for Jess. I always like handling this as best as he can, but it's just not nice to hear, no matter how he says it. Like, his brother is when, oh, by the way, I think, Mimi's better than Jess for you. That is like awful. Jess has been through so much ups and downs and she's been so nice and respectable during all of it. I need her to get like a W. I need her to get a win. Sure. We agreed to disagree. Mm. I told him I don't feel that way mm. <laughs> straight off the bat. And the fact that I am happy with- Oh, look at her face. Stop it, stop it. There's a spider on the wall that's kind of ruined the mood. Well done. They've ruined it for everyone. Look at her face, right? And you're trying to make it about you. Absolute wanker you are, God. I've made them. Mm. Um, how do you feel, honestly? Oh, look at her face. Um, she wants to cry. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's not good. It's awful. Right, the next question is, which couple are the most genuine? Is this another challenge where they just answer questions about each other? I feel like Love Island, like the producers have just run out of ideas this year. In this one episode of me reacting to it we've had three different games where they're just asking the same question reworded like i know it creates drama but it's the same drama every time like where's the date you know when they like plan the really nice dates for them there's been none of that they just sent uh, maybe a josh to like this like cafe 
That's all they've done. Which couple is least likely to work on the outside? Hello, hello, hello. hello. I just want to start by saying I don't think we're going to be in there. Okay. okay, Nicole, thanks. Yeah, anyone else? You know, because we're in love. Are you jealous? Yeah, yeah. We're making it to the final. Right, because we're arrogant, remember? Maybe me and Ayo could be up there just based off the one-sided thing. So I'm happy to go up there. I don't think... I suggest me and Matilda be up there is because we feel like, yeah. like, you know, is it going to be stable? I don't think so. Do you think you could keep up with Joey's lifestyle? What do you mean, can... Jesse keep up with Joey's lifestyle. What, like sitting around the pool in Santorini? Why do people keep repeating that Joey's got a fast-paced lifestyle? He probably does. The guy is an influencer. All he does is just post Instagram pictures and like film a TV series once every two years. The guy doesn't post YouTube videos. He doesn't have to edit videos. I don't even know if he posts TikTok and even then it takes nothing to edit a TikTok. The guy probably has a much less stressful life than what Jesse does working a nine to five. What do you mean this guy has a fast paced lifestyle? No, he doesn't. Your life before you left Love Island, which is your life. Yeah, right no, now. Honestly, all I was doing was training. Just I've been in Dubai for six months, LA. Where was you, Jesse? Chilly, man. Oh, right, that's really fast paced. I've just been to the gym and then I was in Dubai for six months. Oh yeah, that's really fast paced. Jesse, put your seatbelt on, love. This train isn't stopping. In third place, oh. we have Jess and Ayo. Oh. In second place, we have Jesse and Joey. And in first place, we have Grace and Ruben. Yay! That kind of makes sense. Like, they have no chance of working on the outside. Grace and Ruben, as the public has ranked you the least likely to work on the outside, you have been dumped from the island. Please pack your bags and say your goodbyes. Oh, oh my God. Grace. I don't think Grace has, like, gutted that she's, like, probably not going to be with Ruben anymore. I think she's just gutted that she can't get, like, a Motel Rock sponsorship. She's like, oh, God. It was right there. The Boohoo Collection. If I just stay here long enough, I'll be able to still get it. Hello, donuts. Hello. Hello. Hello, donuts. Hello. Fuck off. Hello. Bye, donuts. Bye. Bye, donuts. Didn't even shut the door. Like, the lack of respect in this relationship is so telling. Cut. Stuff I've got to put up with, honestly. This relationship's one-sided. I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> Lucky Grace. Now, I actually like Grace. Grace was, like, a really good contestant this year. Grace is, like, props to Grace. She stood on business. She had a deal with, like, Joey being weirdly obsessed with that, and she did really well. I actually like her. Islanders, tonight each couple must vote for the two couples who they think are least compatible. Those who receive a vote risk being dumped from the island. Bro, again, with the votes for each other, it's just, it, it's, it's just different wording every time. Who's the least compatible? Which relationship's the most one-sided? One Who will not work on the outs? It's just the same challenges reworded every night. I don't want to be negative, because I do really like Love Island, but come on. Is this the best we can do towards the end of the show? Yeah, we have got to go for two No, please, you just got to go for something. Can you listen to me? I'm saying I agree with you as well, because it's going to annoy me. Don't actually speak to me like that. Oh my god, these two. I feel like they're going to lose. They basically had both hands on the winning £50,000. I feel like they're going to lose it because I think people are going to be sick of their arguing. I really like them, but arguing over a tiny decision like this? Come on, guys. Just pick two people. Don't fall out over it. I mean, Sean's head does never turn, but, you know, he, he, he's tested. I do see, like, you know, potentially maybe not working, I don't know. Oh my god, Joey and Jesse are voting for Sean and Matilda. Sean is gonna have a panic attack when he figures that out. Hopefully they actually tell them who voted for who, because Sean's head has been so far up Joey's bottom. Oh my god, Joey's about to poop him out. Love it! It's like he's had too much turmeric, it's just gone straight through him. Fan bloody tastic. This is a curveball he's needed. This is the humble and Sean's needed. Who thought were least compatible? Oh, Maya's gonna tell them. Nicole and Kieran chose. Jesse and Joey. Get in, just telling them. And Jess and Io. Get in. Jess Love and this. Io picked Matilda and Sean. And Jesse and Joey. Matilda and Sean chose Jess and Io. And Mimi and Josh. Bro, it's just all tactical voting. I feel like I'm watching Eurovision. They're just voting for the people they're least friends with. Mimi and Josh decided on Jesse and Joey. And Jess and I. Hmm. Shit. That is savvy. And finally, Jesse and Joey picked Mimi and Josh. 
and Matilda and Sean. Big bro. <laughs> Sean? Welcome to what everybody already knew. Joey was never your friend. The guy was using you. Christ, finally. The watermelon slice has dropped. Joey basically manipulated you this whole season so you had like a friend the entire way through and you fell for it. What? That's crazy from Joey. Sean fully expected them two to be like the Chuckle Brothers of like the sweet world. Like take the sweet world by storm. Which means the couples that are now vulnerable are Jesse and Joey, Mimi and Josh, Matilda and Sean, and Jess and Io. Ooh, so basically all of them apart from Nicole and Kira. Bonnie, over to you. Oh, and now they've invited... Have they invited the old Islanders in? I think they've invited the old Islanders in to vote for who they think is like the least compatible. That's actually quite a good one. I don't feel like they've ever done that before. Miss you all, man. You're all smashing it. But obviously, not in Matilda on the outside. I don't think you'd top up at all. No, and I feel like his connection in here is, is just in here. The obsession with another couple in here. I feel like you took your eye off the real reason you're in here. So what I'm going to send home is Sean and Matilda. Okay, King. If that is a wig that you're wearing, it's been snatched. Fan bloody tastic, short and sweet, to the point, right? Told them straight. Stop being so obsessed with other people, you little sweet merchant. I'm not sure if on the outside the girl will be able to keep up with the boys' lifestyle. I genuinely feel that they have a good connection, like all the couples in here. However, I don't I think it is as strong because the boy has constantly put the girl in a position of, let's say, embarrassment, and which I personally disagree with. So the couple I've decided to dump is Joey and Jesse. Bro, I'm, I'm sick. I'm, I'm sick of people saying that Jesse can't keep up with the Joey Essex's lifestyle. What does this mean? It's a bit harder to be an influencer than it is to work a 9 to 5. <laughs> Most of these people probably work 9 to 5, so why do they think it's harder to be Joey Essex? The man sits around a pool in Dubai. It's not fast paced. How many times? The couple with the highest number of votes and therefore dumped from the island immediately is... Is it Jesse and Joey? Jesse and Joey. <gasps> Please say your goodbyes and pack your bags and leave the villa. You're meant to be the influencer here. You're meant to be the one with the followers. The one who was, it was, this was the Neil Don one. This was the banker. This was the one that couldn't fail. You were meant to get to the final. I wonder if this will actually be good for Joey Essex's career. Being on Love Island, I guess it's like getting people talking about him again. But like, I don't know if it'll hinder or like be a good thing. Can't imagine people wanting to build shows around him, but then he is kind of entertaining, even though he is a bit of a bastard. You mentioned to me, no one has ever written you a poem before, and I promise you, I will. So I hope you like it. Mimi is beautiful. Mimi is lush. Mimi is wonderful. She's one you can trust. Mimi is intelligent, and Mimi is strong. Mimi is partial. She'll tell you when you're wrong. <laughs> Mimi is funny. Mimi is gorge. Oh, Mimi is cute. She's my queen. <laughs> what are you trying to do to us? She said she'd never had a poem written for her. So he wrote her a f***ing poem. That's so f***ing lush. I feel like I've been rooting for Mimi and Josh. You know what? Right? We're going to skip to the winners. Right? So we're going to... The announcement. Because the final is like... It's just kind of a lot of wishy-washy until you actually find out who's won. We don't need to react to like the live studio audience. So we're going to find out now. Okay, and my prediction, I'm gonna go Mimi and Josh. That's who I want to win. I feel like Kieran, Nicole, they could win. But I'm gonna go Mimi and Josh. It's, it's the people's win. The people's champion. The winners of Love Island are... Mimi and Josh! Fucking come on! Fucking come on! Oh, I used to dream of times like this. It wasn't the one I thought it was gonna be. Well, I did want them, but I didn't think it would come. Yes! Yeah, oh, the goosebumps that are running through my body right now. This is what victory feels like. No, that's actually really good. Also, guys, did you enjoy this, by the way? Like, this, like, weeks and weeks of reacting to the same show? Because I'm thinking about doing it for more shows. Let us know which show you'd like it to do. I really enjoyed it, and I feel like we've got to know the characters of this show really well. Didn't get an invite to the final, like. God, must have got lost in the post. Anyway, if you would like to watch previous episodes of me reacting to Love Island, make sure you click here. Oh, I actually did a full video essay on Love Island from the very start to the new season right here if you want to click that or third one if you want to watch a video that's not love island a brand new reacts video click this one right here Tom Kirkham, baby. <laughs>